Hey, welcome YouTube. I'm Aniket, and you are watching Vet Study. So today we are going to discuss about the vertebral column, and this is very important and most demanding topic on this uh, channel. So we are going to discuss about this vertebral column. So what is vertebral column? The first question is that. So vertebral column is a series of bones, or you can say vertebrae, that articulate together to form a long column of axial skeleton in the body is known as vertebral column. and this is commonly known as spine so what i said that a series of bones known as vertebrae so these are you can see that they are series of bones or vertebrae uh, of a long column of axial skeleton in the body is known as vertebrae and on the basis of position and shape the vertebrae has been classified into five region and these five regions are cervical number 2 thoracic number 3 lumbar and number 4 sacrum and number 5 is coccygeal these are five uh, region on which uh, the vertebrae are divided okay so we will talk about them one by one but first we should look at the common uh, structure of vertebrae so uh, there are a typical vertebrae and atypical vertebrae so first we will look at the common vertebrae a common vertebrae have three things the first thing is body the second thing is arch and the third thing is process okay so these three things are present in a common vertebrae so first we will talk about this body so a body uh, what is a body body is a solid cylindrical rod so this is body and this is you can see that this is a solid cylindrical rod and it supports the other structure of the bone okay and this body has uh, three things you can say the first is end the second is surfaces and the third is arch so these three things are present in um, this body so first we'll look at the uh, ends so there are two type of end present in the body and these two ends are cranial and number 2 is caudal so two type of ends are present in uh, body so uh, as you can see that Uh, one end is cranial and one end is caudal so this this end is uh, caudal end how can i say that this end is caudal because it is concave in shape this is concave in shape okay and the opposite end is convex in, in shape so body has two end cranial and caudal and caudal one is Uh, concave in shape and convex one in is uh, cranial one is convex in shape and uh, these end are attached to corresponding intervertebral fibrocartilaginous disc okay after this we have two surfaces of body so this uh, as we know that this is body and it has two surface uh, one is this and the other one is opposite just opposite to this and two surfaces means dorsal this is dorsal surface and this is ventral surface okay so this one is dorsal surface so in dorsal surface it forms the floor of neural canal uh, this this is neural ring or you can say uh, several vertebrae combined to form neural canal so this form the floor this is the floor okay so this dorsal surface will form the floor of neural canal but when i talk about the ventral surface so this ventral surface as you can see that there is a, uh, there is a ill developed spine okay so the ventral surface uh, possesses ill developed spine and the function of this ill developed spine is for uh, muscular attachment so this is the uh, these are the two surfaces of body now we have the third point that is arch so this is the arch okay and this arch uh, we can divide this arch in two part so this can be divided into two parts this is known as lamina and this is known as pedicle okay so this arch is divided into two parts uh, lamina and pedicle this uh, lamina is the horizontal part horizontal part and so this pedicle is the vertical part okay and uh, the pedicle uh, bear some notch and uh, there will be the uh, articular caudal articular process in between uh, in between the junction of these two lamina and uh, pedicle now we have third point that is the process okay so process uh, is important and there are three type of process in this the first is the spinous process this this is the spinous process this is the first uh, process and the second is the uh, transverse process 
and the third one is the uh, articular process so this is articular process so we have three type of process here okay so first we will look at the spinous process so this is the spinous process and the spinous process is a single projected upward it is single and it is projected upward as you can see uh, from the junction of a laminae these two uh, these these are laminae na? this is the junction so this one is also lamina this one is also lamina and this is the junction of two lamina so this spine a spinous process is originated from the junction of two laminae so that is why we call it a spinous process now after a spinous process we have transverse process uh, this transverse process uh, is divided into two part upper tubercular part and lower plate like part okay so this is the upper tubercular part and this is the lower plate like part this upper tubercular part is extended at the right angle as you can see this is extended extended at the right angle and uh, the lower uh, plate like part is extended downward forward and outward when you will see this uh, real uh, real part of this uh, vertebrae N uh, next we have third one that is the articular process this articular process uh, uh, play important role uh, and they are two in number as you can see one is this and second is this and uh, on each cranial and caudal aspect um, so one present in cranial aspect and one present in caudal aspect because you have to articulate the vertebra from both the sides okay and uh, there uh, and uh, similarly opposite side two uh, articular process are present next is uh, they, they are projected from the junction of uh, lamina so uh, as we all know that l laminas are so lam this is lamina and this is pedicle so they are projected from the junction of lamina and pedicle as you can see there this is the junction so they are projected from this side uh, on okay so this is lamina this is pedicle and they are originated from the junction between the lamina and pedicle and uh, th the main function of these articular process is to prevent the undesirable movement between the adjacent vertebrae they will fix the vertebrae and uh, undesired they, they will prevent the undesirable movement between them okay so this is the structure of uh, a typical vertebrae now we'll talk about the a general cervical vertebrae now we'll talk about the cervical vertebrae so these cervical vertebrae uh, basically they form the skeleton of neck as you can see they form the skeleton of neck okay and uh, these vertebrae are characterized by the presence of a short process i will show you that these vertebrae have short process and of various uh, the, these process are of various shape and the most uh, peculiar character of these vertebrae is the foramen foramen transversarium so this is foramen uh, transversarium this is the typical characteristic feature of these vertebrae so this foramen transversarium sirf hamara kiske andar present hoga cervical vertebrae ke andar hi present hoga next we have the number of cervical vertebrae so the number of cervical vertebrae is almost fixed it is 7 uh, in almost all animals and exceptions are there in me kuch ex exception hai 7k and these exceptions are sloth these exception are number 1 is sloth and number 2 is great antiaters so uh, sloth and great antiaters these two animals do not have a typical 7 Uh, uh, seven cervical vertebrae. The number is uh, differ, and the number in sloth is six, and in great antiaters it is from eight to nine. So eight to nine great antiaters. के अंदर cervical vertebrae होंगे. Sloth के अंदर हमारे छह vertebrae cervical vertebrae हमारे present होते हैं. तो ये हमारे क्या हैं exception हैं. इसके अलावा बात करते हैं हम इसमें हम दो type के दो type में हम इसे divide करेंगे. एक तो typical और एक atypical. तो हमारे one Two, six, or seven. These are atypical vertebrae. Okay, it means they have different uh, shape. Okay, the shape and size. But the rest are three, four, and five. That is three, four, and five. So these vertebrae are typical, and they have similar shape and size. Okay. So we will discuss about these vertebrae uh, collectively. एक साथ हम इन्हें discuss करेंगे three, four, five को और one, two, six, seven को हम अलग से discuss करेंगे ठीक है So we will discuss these four vertebrae separately, but uh, these three vertebrae collectively. So first we will discuss about these three, four, and five vertebrae. So as you can see, this is the cervical spine of dog, and uh, you can see here that <coughs> this this is the one, two. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh. These are seven vertebrae in dog, and 
as I have told you that uh, first, second, sixth, and seventh these are atypical vertebrae, and you can you can also see that they they are different in their shape and size. आप देख सकते हैं यहाँ पे इनकी shape और size के अंदर difference है, ठीक है? But जैसे मैंने आपको बताया कि third, fourth, and fifth these vertebrae are typical. It means they have similar shape and uh, size, or you can say structure. So we'll we will discuss about these vertebrae. So first uh, we will discuss about their body. First is body. So body की अगर मैं बात करूँ, so body is long and uh, as I have discussed that convexities at the cranial end are present and concavity at the caudal end are present and they are very prominent. So these two points are important. Two point important हैं इसके अंदर क्या हैं वो? कि पहला तो जो body होती है इनकी वो long होगी. दूसरा क्या होगा? कि जो convexities हैं वो cranial end पर होंगी और concavity हमारी caudal end पर present होती हैं. इसके बाद बात आती है articular process की. तो articular <coughs> next point है हमारा क्या? Articular process. So uh, articular process की अगर मैं बात करता हूँ, तो यहाँ पर articular process हमारी well developed होती है. <coughs> As you can see, this is articular process. ये आपको well developed देखने के लिए मिलेगी. Caudal articular process है, ठीक है? तो caudal articular process आप देख सकते हैं, well developed यहाँ पर आपको देखने के लिए मिल रही है. इसके अलावा ये एक plate की form में present होती है. So it is present in the form of a plate. Okay. Next, we will talk about the third point that is the spinous process. So, spinous process ki agar mein baat karun, so it is inclined forward and it is short and tuberous. You can see also that this is the spinous process and this is inclined forward and it is short. It is short. You can see here that this, this is short and it is inclined forward. So, these two points are about the spinous process. Next, we have the fourth point that is the transverse process. Transverse process. So, uh, talking about the transverse process, it is divided into one upper and a lower part. Uh, you can see that this is transverse process. It is divided into one upper and lower part. Okay, and uh, these okay. So these are the, some point about these uh, typical vertebrae. Next, uh, some important points are like uh, हम बात करते हैं the base of each transverse process is perforated by foramen transverse area and this foramen transverse area is very important. Okay, so जो base होगा transverse process का वो कौन perforate करेगा foramen transverse area. You can see transverse foramen. Okay, transverse foramen. So transverse uh, process में हमारा एक foramen present होगा जिसे हम बोलेंगे transverse foramen या foramen transverse area and this is very important and typical. Uh, peculiar character of these uh, vertebrae, right? And uh, these foramen are one of the characteristic feature of these vertebrae, so you should remember them. After this, after this, uh, so what is the role of these uh, foramen transverse area? So, this foramen transverse area, we give our passage for three things. First, vertebral artery. Second, what is our satellite vein? And third, our satellite nerve. So, one artery, one vein, one nerve, we give our passage. Dete the first one is the vertebral artery. The second is the satellite vein and third one is the uh, satellite nerve. So these are the typical um, cervical vertebrae. Now we'll talk about the atlas, the first cervical vertebrae. So आपको सबसे पहला जो vertebrae है उसके बारे में बात करते हैं. And the first vertebra is the atlas. So atlas के बारे में बात करते हैं. Atlas is the first vertebra and it carries around the head in human. Therefore the name atlas is given to it. Means आपने देखा होगा कि atlas की जो cycles भी आती हैं वहाँ पर आपने देखा होगा एक एक मैन वहां पर होता है और उसकी नेक पर एक ग्लोब वो उठा उठा कर रखता है ठीक है तो ये जो मैन है ये ग्रीक माइथोलॉजी से आप कह सकते हैं एटलस वर्ड नेम लिया गया है और ये जो नेक पर उठा कर रखता है ये माना गया है कि वो वर्टिब्रा हमारा एटलस होता है इसीलिए हम इस वर्टिब्रे को क्या बोलते हैं एटलस बोलते हैं तो इसीलिए जो इसका नाम है एटलस का इट इज ड्राइव फ्रॉम ग्रीक माइथोलॉजी ओके नाउ विल टॉक अबाउट दी दिस बोन दिस बोन कंप्राइजेज ऑफ अ लार्ज न्यूरल रिंग एज यू कैन सी दैट द न्यूरल रिंग इज वेरी लार्ज इन केस ऑफ uh, atlas and there are two wings you can see that these are two wings present on both the sides and uh, there are three things in which uh, in this bone which we will talk about in this video the first is the body as usual and next is the wings and uh, the third is the process uh, spinous supraspinous process okay so first we will talk about the body so body body is in the form of a thick plate only as you can see that this body is in the form of a thick plate uh, 
इट इज नॉट इन द सिलेंड्रिकल शेप जैसा कि हमने लास्ट के अंदर देखा था कि सिलेंड्रिकल शेप में होती है बट यहां पर सिलेंड्रिकल नहीं है यहां पे एक थिक प्लेट की फॉर्म में बॉडी प्रेजेंट होती है और यहां पर बॉडी क्या बना रही है यहां पर बॉडी आप देख सकते हैं कि जो वेंट्रल वॉल है न्यूरल रिंग की वो बना रही है अब वेंट्रल वॉल क्या होती है ये तो वही डॉर्सल वॉल हो गई न्यूरल रिंग की ये क्या है वेंट्रल वॉल तो वेंट्रल वॉल कौन बना रहा है इट इज फॉर्म बाय दिस बॉडी ओके आफ्टर दिस वी हैव विंग्स 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 आर दी बोनी प्लेट दीज आर बोनी प्लेट विच आर प्रोजेक्टेड फ्रॉम आइदर साइड ऑफ द न्यूरल रिंग यू कैन सी सो दीज आर प्लेट लाइक स्ट्रक्चर विच आर प्रोजेक्टेड आइदर साइड ऑन द न्यूरल रिंग नेक्स्ट वी हैव सुपर स्पाइनस प्रोसेस सुपर स्पाइनस प्रोसेस एज वेल एज द वेंट्रल स्पाइन आर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ट्यूबरकल एज यू कैन सी दिस इज द वेंट्रल ट्यूबरकल एंड दिस इज द सुपीरियर ट्यूबरकल सो दे आर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ दे आर नॉट वेरी प्रोमिनेंट दे आर इन द फॉर्म ऑफ ट्यूबरकल ओनली ओके आफ्टर दिस वी हैव फोर अमेन सो देर आर टू फोर अमेन प्रेजेंट ऑन द विंग्स क्रेनियल एस्पेक्ट पर हमारे प्रेजेंट होते हैं डॉर्सल सर्फेस के और दो फोरामेन प्रेजेंट होते हैं द फर्स्ट इज द इंटरवर्टिब्रल फोरामेन एंड नेक्स्ट इज द फोरामेन एलर ओके सो इंटरवर्टिब्रल फोरामेन हमारा किस को पैसेज देता है ये इंपॉर्टेंट है पहली बात तो जो हमारा इंटरवर्टिब्रल फोरामेन है ये हमारा मीडियल वाला होता है दिस साइड इज मीडियल दिस साइड इज लेटरल ना तो इंटरवर्टिब्रल फोरामेन हमारा कौन सा होगा मीडियल वाला और फोरामेन एलर हमारा कौन सा होगा लेटरल वाला तो पहला डिफरेंस तो ये आ गया नेक्स्ट डिफरेंस इज दैट दैट इंटरवर्टिब्रल फोरामेन गिव पैसेज टू द फर्स्ट स्पाइनल नर्व फर्स्ट स्पाइनल नर्व को पैसेज देगा इसके अलावा इट विल गिव पैसेज टू द वर्टिब्रल आर्ट्री ओके एंड इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द फोरामेन एलर इट इज द लेटरल वन एंड इट विल गिव पैसेज to the uh, dorsal branch of first spinal nerve remember this the dorsal branch of first spinal nerve okay after this uh, we have uh, when you look at the caudal part of the floor of the neural ring this this part you will see that there is a depression here and we call it fovea dentis so this is fovea dentis this is the depression at the caudal part of the neural ring and this fovea dentis is important this can be asked in your university exam after this we have the cranial part as you can see this is the cranial part of the atlas and you can see that the cranial part of the bone is highly concave aap dekh sakte hain highly concave hai theek hai ab highly concave hone ke piche there are reasons like it is concave uh, because it दिस हैव टू अकोमोडेट दी ऑसिपिटल कॉन्डाइल इसे ऑसिपिटल कॉन्डाइल जो है जो स्कल से हमारे आएंगे उसे क्या करना है अकोमोडेट करना है इसीलिए इसको हाईली कॉन्केव होना जरूरी है ठीक है तो इसलिए हमारा हाईली कॉन्केव होता है इसके बाद बात आती है आपकी जो फोसा एटलेंटिस फोसा एटलेंटिस क्या होता है फोसा एटलेंट वेंट्रल सर्फेस ऑफ ईच विंग इज कॉन्केव एंड इज टर्म एज फोसा एटलेंटिस एज यू कैन सी हेयर that this this is the ventral surface of each wing and it is highly concave you can see that th this surface is highly uh, concave and this is known as fossa atlantis so these words are very important that fovea dentis fossa atlantis uh, foramen alar intervertebral foramen these terms are very 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 important okay you should remember these terms so by this your uh, atlas is complete and this is the atlas of ox to agar hum x ray ke andar dekhein atlas ko so ye aap dekh sakte hain yahan par this is atlas okay and you can see the wings of atlas atlanto axial space is there theek hai aur ye hamara occipital jo condyle hai unse hi hamare attach hoga theek hai iske baad hum kya dekh lete hain first cervical vertebrae or the atlas of dog abhi tak humne dekha tha ox ka ek bar dog ka bhi dekh lete hain to in dog this is the alar notch this is just a notch nothing else and uh, this is dorsal tubercle after dorsal tubercle there is the transverse foramen caudal articular fo fovea fovea den dentis ये डेनिस वेंट्रल ट्यूबरकल इज प्रेजेंट वेंट्रल वर्टिब्रल फोरामेन डॉर्सल आर्च विंग एंड वेंट्रल आर्च सो दीज आर आर्चेज एंड ये थोड़ा बहुत डिफरेंस स्पीसीज टू स्पीसीज में हमारा आता है बट जो बेसिक है वो हमें ऑक्स का ही याद रखना है नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट आर सेकेंड सर्वाइकल वर्टिब्रे दैट इज दी एक्सेस सो दिस इज द सेकेंड वर्टिब्रे एक्सेस सो एक्सेज दिस वर्टिब्रे हैज बीन नेम्ड एज axis because the skull alone with the atlas rotated partially around it so that is why its name is axis to humne iska axis naam kyon diya hai kyunki jo skull hai wo atlas ke sath iske around iski axis ke around ghumta hai isliye hum ise kya bolte hain axis vertebra bolte hain theek hai to iske andar bhi hum teen cheezon teen char cheezon ke bare mein hi baat karenge sabse pehla hum isme kiske bare mein baat karenge body ke bare mein baat karenge body ke alawa hum isme baat karenge स्पाइनस प्रोसेस के बारे में बात करेंगे स्पाइनस प्रोसेस के अलावा हम इसमें किसके बारे में बात करेंगे आर्टिकुलर प्रोसेस के बारे में बात करेंगे एंड देन वी विल टॉक अबाउट द ट्रांसफर्स प्रोसेस सो दीज आर दीज आर द टॉपिक्स ऑन विच वी विल डिस्कस दिस बोन सो फर्स्ट विल टॉक अबाउट दिस बॉडी सो बॉडी बॉडी इज लॉन्ग एंड वेंट्रल स्पाइन इज एक्सटेंडेड कॉर्डली इन केस ऑफ दिस एक्सेस वर्टिब्रे 
जैसा हमने लास्ट बॉडी ब्रेक के अंदर देखा था कि जो बॉडी है वो हमारी प्लेट की फॉर्म में है तो वैसा यहां पर नहीं है यहां पर बॉडी जो है वो हमारी लॉन्ग है और इसके जो वेंट्रल सर्फेस पे आप एक स्पाइन देखेंगे जब एक्चुअल बोन आप देख, देखेंगे तब इसके क्रेनियल एंड की अगर मैं बात करता हूं तो द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दिस ओडोनट्रोइड प्रोसेस बॉडी का दिस इज द क्रेनियल एंड एंड दिस क्रेनियल एंड पर एक आपका ऑडोनट्रोइड प्रोसेस प्रेजेंट होता है एंड दिस ऑडोनट्रोइड प्रोसेस इज द मॉडिफाइड क्रेनियल पार्ट ऑफ दिस बॉडी ओके एंड इट इज प्रोजेक्टेड प्लेट सो दिस ऑडोनट्रोइड प्रोसेस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड योर टीचर में आस्क दिस इन शॉर्ट नोट ओके After this, we have spinous process. Spinous process is inclined forward and it increases in thickness. As you can see, this is the spinous process and it is inclined forward and this will increase in thickness as you go backward. Okay. After this, we have articular process. Articular process are of two type. Articular process are of two type: cranial articular process and caudal articular process. Okay. So uh, this is the cranial articular process. and this is the caudal articular process cranial articular process is modified to form a articular plate around the base of the odontoid process to ye jo odontoid process hai iske around hamari kya hogi jo articular plate ke form mein hamari ye process hamari modify ho jati hai theek hai kehne ka mera matlab kya hai ki aur is odontoid process ke around jo process hai wo ek plate ke form mein modify ho jati hai kaun si cranial cranial articular process okay cranial one अगर मैं बात करता हूं कॉर्डल की तो कॉर्डल आर्टिकुलर प्रोसेस इज वेल डेवलप्ड एंड इट इज डायरेक्टेड बैकवर्ड एज यू कैन सी हियर ओके सो दीज आर आर्टिकुलर प्रोसेस इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द इंटरवर्टिब्रल फोराम सो इट इज प्रेजेंट बिहाइंड द नॉच दिस इज इंटरवर्टिब्रल फोराम एंड इट इज प्रेजेंट बिहाइंड द नॉच दिस इज नॉच ओके एंड दिस इज द फोराम आफ्टर दिस वी हैव फोराम ट्रांसफर्स एरियम एंड इट इज नैरो इन दिस यू कैन सी दिस इज नैरो एंड ट्रांसफर्स प्रोसेस ट्रांसफर्स प्रोसेस आर Undivided and projected backward. As you can see, these processes are undivided and projected backward. So this is the second uh, cervical vertebrae or axis of dog, and this is the lateral aspect. And you can see the spinous process, cranial ver uh, vertebral notch. This is the cranial vertebral notch. Okay, this is the body. This part is body, and uh, cranial articular process, dense, and uh, caudal articular process. caudal vertebral notch this is the caudal vertebral notch this is the cranial vertebral notch okay this is transverse foramen transverse process and ventral crest so these are the features of this bone let's talk about the six cervical vertebrae so this is the sixth cervical vertebrae and uh, इसके बारे में अब हम बात करते हैं तो सिक्स सर्वाइटिकल वर्टिब्रे के अंदर हम देखेंगे आर्टिकुलर प्रोसेस एंड स्पाइनस प्रोसेस तो आर्टिकुलर प्रोसेस एंड स्पाइनस प्रोसेस आर वेल डेवलप in this vertebra you can see this is the caudal articular process and this is the superior spinous process so they are well developed in this uh, vertebrae after this the lower part of the transverse process is in the form of a quadrilateral plate okay so you can see that lower part is in the form of a quadrilateral plate after this the ventral spine is absent here this is important feature that ventral spine is absent in these vertebrae and other feature are similar to those of fifth cervical vertebrae so these are some differentiating feature which will differentiate this vertebrae from other vertebrae now we are left with the last cervical vertebrae that is the seventh cervical vertebrae so seventh cervical vertebrae uh, body of this vertebrae at its caudal end aspect be a two facet why these two facets are present because uh, they will provide the articulation area for the head of the first pair of ribs and this is very important mera kehne ka matlab kya hai ki is vertebrae se hamari jo first pair of rib hai wo hamari attach hoti hain isliye is vertebrae par hamare do facet present hote hain ab main aapko ek image show karta hu dekhiye yahan par scapula ke piche agar aap dekhenge to ye first pair hai first pair hai uh, रिब्स का तो ये किससे अटैच होगा ये हमारा सेवेंथ वर्टिब्रे पर कुछ फैसेट्स प्रेजेंट होंगे उससे जाकर के हमारा अटैच होगा तो ये चीज इंपॉर्टेंट है आपको याद रखनी है कि इसकी सेवेंथ uh, वर्टिब्रे की बॉडी पर कुछ फैसेट प्रेजेंट होते हैं देर आर फैसेट टू फैसेट्स विच विल आर्टिकुलेट विद द हेड ऑफ फर्स्ट पेयर ऑफ रिब्स ओके एंड द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग अबाउट दीज वर्टिब्रे दैट दे डू नॉट हैव फोराम एंड ट्रांसफर्स एरियम विच इज द करेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर ऑफ सर्वाइकल वर्टिब्रे ओके तो इसका कहने का मतलब क्या है कि इन वर्टिब्रे पर फोराम एंड ट्रांसफर्स एरियम प्रेजेंट नहीं होता है जो कि हमारा करेक्टरिस्टिक फीचर था इसके अलावा इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द स्पाइनस प्रोसेस देन स्पाइनस प्रोसेस इज फ्लैट एंड वेल डेवलप सो दिस इज नॉट क्लियर इन दिस पिक्चर बट यस स्पाइनस प्रोसेस इज फ्लैट एंड वेल डेवलप एंड डायरेक्टेड बैकवर्ड एंड इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द ट्रांसफर्स प्रोसेस देन ट्रांसफर्स प्रोसेस ऑफ ईच साइड इज सिंगल एंड अनडिवाइडेड so these are some uh, differentiating feature of this vertebrae from other vertebrae so here our cervical vertebrae is completed 
तो यहाँ पर हमने सब वर्टिब्रेज के बारे में बात कर ली है थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो इफ यू लाइक दिन प्लीज प्रेजेंट हम सब सब्सक्राइब टू वेट स्टडी नेक्स्ट वीडियो के अंदर हम थोड़ा से वर्टिब्रे के बारे में बात करेंगे